hope everybody's doing well today. We just got back from ice skating. Um, <clears throat> she had a lesson at 10 o'clock, and then there was a public session from 11 to 12.45. So she skated, skated for like the better part of three hours today. Now she is in the kitchen playing with Play-Doh and watching cartoons. And you know what movie I might rent later for her? Because she loves mermaids? Splash. Have you seen Splash? If you haven't seen it, it's really funny. Although I haven't seen it in years. You know how, like, your taste changed? Well, I watched it, um... Oh, God. Probably, like, when my mom was sick. I remember being in her house taking care of her. And watching it then, that was a long time ago. Anyway, um, but I think Avery might like it because it's about a mermaid and she loves mermaids. Anyhow, anyhow. Okay, first person here is Lucinda for general. Hi, Anthony. Lucinda for general. Okay, you're going to walk away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. And then you're also feeling ambitious, so you'll be able to accomplish whatever you set your mind to this spring. Could be spending time with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Maybe thinking about going back to school or learning a new area of study. Then you have a water sign coming in, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, that could be of significance, and a new journey begins. Old wounds heal and move into the past. Listen to your intuition. And you're no longer holding yourself back. Life begins to move forward. Not bad. Not bad. Good days. Energy between me and Gemini next time I see him. Energy is good. It's grounded, stable, sincere, mutual. Like, stable and neutral. It looks good. It looks good. Mario for the next seven days. For the next seven days, you've got the Empress bringing in love and money or more of it. Feeling a little bit more financially secure. You're listening to your intuition. And you could be spending time with the Pisces. You've got a new journey on the horizon that could lead to success and happiness around business. You have a wish that comes true. Looks like a good week. You also could have a fire sign around you. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And a new journey begins. Love. Okay, when it comes to love, life is coming into balance and things could be moving forward and where a wish comes true, possibly with um, a Pisces. Also, it could be listen to your intuition and a wish comes true. You also have a fire sign here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, that could be of significance and success coming in around love when you explore your options. Old wounds heal and move into the past. A disappointment heals and you could reconnect with somebody from your past with the Six of Cups, but, but I gotta tell you, Pisces is coming up very strong around you. <clears throat> and then, finances. Finances. Hi, Mel. Disappointments heal and move into the past, and perseverance pays off, and you may be paying off a bill, a debt, or a loan. <laughs> Old wounds heal and move into the past. Life comes into balance and you should be feeling better compensated, better respected around work, school, or business. More money comes in between now and the end of the um, spring. Pretty good. Pretty good. And then career. Career.
Okay. You should be feeling better compensated, better respected around work, school, or business. Coming to a place where you're feeling like relieved about things moving forward. You got good karma headed your way and negativity is moving into the past when it comes to your career. A new beginning on the horizon could lead to more money coming in out of the clear blue sky when you least expect it sometime this spring. Explore your opportunities around your career. Things can be moving forward quickly with a new journey. Not bad. Not bad. Yelra, love for the next five days, single. Over the next five days, you may hear from somebody that you're hoping to hear from or get good news that you've been waiting on, and there could be a Taurus and a Libra around. But otherwise, things are looking a little bit slow or stagnant over the next couple of days. I wouldn't expect anything extraordinary to happen except for possible communication from somebody you're hoping to hear from or a Taurus and a Libra could enter, but otherwise it's a little slow. Lydia, Scorpio J towards me, no contact. Okay, let's see. showing communication coming in and that you should be spending time together all right it may be a little bit slow right now but when things change it should change for the better quickly and you're ready for it new beginnings on the horizon a wish comes true that could take you right towards the 10 cups being full you should hear from him soon and see him and spend time together oh you got the notification Maybe it's Mercury. Maybe that's why the last couple of days things were weird. Yelra, when do you see me receiving my refund check? Okay, two, two to three. So if this is something that, like, um, you know how, like, if you go to a store and you have your credit card refunded, it takes two to three business days. If it's something that could be quick, I'm going to say two to three days. If you're waiting on a check to be cut for like a refund for an overpayment of something, I'm going to say two to three weeks. John sent Leslie a text about my feelings and love towards her after my recent 420 experience invitation. <laughs> for you what will become of my message to her i can't let her win or seem too soft okay let's see well i would stand your ground so she's showing as the hermit in reverse so she may feel as if she's done something wrong and may not be taking responsibility for it or maybe blaming you for it but she knows that she's wrong she did something wrong you do have a wish that comes true around communication coming in that could lead to cause for celebration. So this was probably not a bad thing. Like whatever you said in the text message, even if she didn't respond, I think communication in person is going to come in. And I think that's better anyway. You've got good luck coming in or your luck is changing for the better quickly. Anxiety eases and moves into the past and things could start to move forward, even if on slow and steady ground, but at least stable. It doesn't look bad. You, it could bring you to a positive place. But stand your ground. So if you feel like she's done something wrong or you've done something that you haven't been given credit for, whatever it is, don't don't give in to that because you're right. You're right, and I think she knows it. Lydia, we read and vibe. We read and vibe. Pretty good. So the overall vibe would be happiness with the sun. Um, life could change for you for the better quickly. Anxieties may be easing and moving into the past. You could be spending time with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. That could be that Scorpio, but you also show a fire sign here. 
Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and money coming in. Here's the water sign. And then you may feel relief around like life moving forward and no longer being stuck or stagnant. It should be a pretty good week. Davey, what does Tara want me to know? Okay, you may be working on a new creative project or creative hobby. You could be thinking about going back to school, learning a new area of study. Old wounds heal and move into the past, and perseverance pays off around work, school, or business. Listen to your intuition. Life moves forward towards greater pastures. You may make a decision that pushes your career forward and more money comes in. You also could be planning travel. What? Twin Flames, general for the rest of the month. General for the rest of the month. here for the rest of the month. A disappointment heals and moves into the past and new beginnings are on the horizon. Could be spending time with the Sagittarius or a Pisces making decisions that push life forward and you're ready for it. Old wounds are healing and moving into the past and you may be paying off a bill of debt or a loan. You also could be spending time with a Leo. Listen to your intuition and take time for rest, relaxation and self-care. Davey, love. Well, you've got here the Empress bringing in love and money, or more of it. And anxiety is easing and moving into the past, and happiness comes in around love when you explore your options. Walk away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you, and life moves forward. You've got a Leo here. You've got a Scorpio. You have life changing for you for the better quickly. Another fire sign comes in, Leo Sagittarius Aries, making decisions that push things forward and your luck around love changes for the better quickly. Anthony, will I get a job offer from P or M company this year? You will get a job this year. It looks like both of them have good potential, but M comes up a little bit stronger than P as of right now. New love, what did P think about my message? He went quiet. Cyrus, what are you doing? Uh, he didn't know how to answer it or he's unsure, feeling unsuccessful and could be feeling a little bit deceived or caught off guard by something. He's not answering it because he doesn't know how to or what to say, so he's kind of ignoring it. I think that communication will come in at another point, but it might not have anything to do with that message, whatever the message was, because it's kind of stressed them out. They got a little stress around it. Elizabeth, what do you see happening with my friend and me? She kicked me out of her house because she said I butt in with parenting. That was not my intention. I told her that I would not go back to her house. Okay. I think that it's going to all blow over. I think that you guys will probably talk it out and it'll blow over. Um, did you tell her that that wasn't your intention? You know, I would just, look, I'm sorry, whatever, I didn't mean for thing, for whatever I said it came out the wrong way, whatever, and it looks like it blows over. I don't think it's going to be, be a big deal long term. Liz, love in general. Uh, 
Okay, when it comes to love, you have success coming in around romance moving forward, possibly with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, or a Libra. You have old wounds healing and moving into the past. New beginnings on the horizon or a new journey comes in. Listen to your intuition. Don't be afraid to lay down the law, set boundaries, and express your wants and needs around the current relationship or potential one. Liz, general for Tuesday. You could have money coming in. A wish comes true. If you're feeling undecided about something or someone, don't make any decisions until you're ready. Listen to your intuition and life moves forward towards greener pastures. You could be spending time with a Libra. You could be spending time with a Leo. Not bad. A, age, thoughts, and feelings for me after our talk this morning. may find you'd be kind and caring, down-to-earth, smart, intelligent, a loyal friend. Be wise, general. Be wise, general. Appointments heal and move into the past and cause for celebration comes in around work, school, or business. Old wounds are healing and moving into the past and a new journey begins. You could be spending time with the Taurus. You could be spending time with the water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. And you may reconnect with somebody from your past or somebody that you haven't seen in a while you may run into. Listen to your intuition. Slow and steady wins the race, but life is moving forward. Liz, how will JM feel once I officially end things? May feel a little bit like disappointed, deceived, and let down. Um, but may not be surprised. May know that things are not functioning well or may feel like you're mad or upset or something like that. They may kind of feel like they had it coming to them. One lucky. Anything good coming towards me. Anything good coming towards me. Yep. So you have the Empress here, which is bringing in love and money or more of it. You could be reconnecting with an old friend or you can run into someone you haven't seen in a while with the Six of Cups. And you may have an Aries come in that could be of significance or a Leo. New beginnings on the horizon, a wish comes true, finances are improving, and life is coming into balance. You also may be planning travel. The travel itself may not be for a few months, but you may be planning it on the horizon. Listen to your intuition and life moves forward. John, what's for me in love until the end of the month? Old wounds are healing and moving into the past. Ooh, excuse me. And your love life is moving forward. If you're already with someone, things should be moving forward towards greener pastures. If you're not with anyone, perseverance pays off and you could have a little bit of passion coming in with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini between now and the end of the month. You're no longer holding yourself back. Somebody may make you an offer that would be hard to turn down. That could take you towards the 10 cups being full. That's pretty good. Pretty good. Liz, love for this week. Love for this week. Okay, for this week, you've got new beginnings on the horizon. Listen to your intuition. If you've been feeling lately like things have been stuck and stagnant, things may start to move forward. 
Lay down the law, set boundaries. Don't be afraid to express your wants and needs. Even though it may be slow and steady wins the race, things are moving forward and walking away from people, places, and things could be opening up new doors. You have an earth sign around, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You have a Libra here, a new journey on the horizon. Also a Sagittarius. Where'd that, where'd it go? There it is. Walking away from people, places, and things and listening to your intuition can open new doors. Sagittarius comes in. New journey could be beginning also with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and a Libra. What? Okay, is the light on? No. All right, here, take this. No, can I take you out some? Oh, shit. Yeah, it's good now. All right, all right. Where's Cyrus? Um, it's in the living room. What is he doing? Nothing. Who's being bad? He's being bad? No. He's my kid holding it. Okay, okay, let's go. Why don't we wait till the last second? When you first feel like you gotta go, you gotta go. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. This dog. <laughs> I had taken out of the fridge a thing of ricotta cheese that it was past the expiration date. It's probably fine. It's probably fine because I wanted to clean out the container and, and get rid of it for uh, the recycle guy when it comes tomorrow. But it, it, Cyrus took the container and was eating the cheese. I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be okay. This guy. See, Dylan never would have taken it off the counter. I could leave like, I, I could have left like a steak on the counter and he wouldn't really bother it. This guy could have got to learn. Um, Alyssa in general. Teamwork is favored. You could have a new job or business opportunity on the horizon that brings in cause for celebration and life is moving forward towards greener pastures. If you've had an argument or a disagreement with someone, it should resolve itself and move into the past and a Sagittarius and an Aries show up. You also have another fire sign coming in, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and also a Libra. You'll hear from somebody that you're hoping to hear from or get good news that you've been waiting on that brings in happiness. Samantha for next week. Perseverance pays off around work, school, or business, and you've got um, feeling better, compensated, better, respected around work, school, or business comes in. Old wounds are healing and moving into the past, and life is moving forward towards greener pastures. Could be spending time with the Gemini. Could be spending time with the Cancer. Maybe planning a road trip, making decisions that push life forward. Be good. Twin Flames says, L.A., the band, have a bright future. say so yeah it looks pretty positive Liz what will happen after I confront E and J there may be an argument 
there may be an argument or a disagreement that could lead to somebody feeling hurt or wounded over the situation. Um, yeah, things may get a little awkward and it could lead to an argument or a disagreement. Somebody may be feeling hurt and it could be a little slow to recover from it. Um, like the relationships may be slow to rebound from whatever it is you're confronting these people from. Adonis, my pup does that. He smells food and tries to look for anything that smells like food to him, which is almost... <laughs> oh, God. Now I think he's probably over there barking at it because I put it in the sink. But he can't eat rotten cheese. I don't I don't know if it's rotten. It looked, it looked a little funny to me. what's coming in next in love what's coming in next in love okay um, when it comes to love you're moving forward towards greater pastures so if you're not with anyone right now it's probably new energy that's coming in and it could be um, you're walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you, and you have choices and options. So you could be like dating, and people are coming in, and you may date, and be like this person's not for me, you walk away from it, and then you keep having new opportunities come in. Fire, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Water, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Weight of the world slips off your shoulders. That could lead you to success, and you also have money coming in. Not bad. Not bad. Simran, for the next 24 hours, nervous about tomorrow's in-person exam. Perseverance pays off. You may be feeling nervous. I mean, I, tests always do that to people. But you're going to feel relief when it's done, and it should go well. Listen to your intuition and things move forward towards greener pastures. I think you'll be okay. Um, when you get home or when it's finished, you may be taking time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. Listen to your intuition. Excuse me. You're feeling a little bit more grounded and stable around finances over the next 24 hours. I think the test will go well. Miyaki, is Prana Geo, Geotis interesting to me? Yeah, a little bit, I think. Yeah, there could be an interest there. Maggie for the next 24 hours. Uh, next 48 hours. Maggie for the next 48 hours. It could be spending time as an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or possibly an Aries. With the magician, you have the ability to manifest new opportunities and feeling ambitious to be able to accomplish whatever you set your mind to. Paying off a bill of debt or a loan is possible. Listen to your intuition and life moves forward. Is G going to contact me in the next four days? Mm, 
not convinced that this person is going to contact you within the next four days. It's looking a little slow. Cinnamon for this week ahead. Cinnamon for this week ahead. You may be paying off a bill of debt or a loan. You could be thinking about going back to school, learning a new area of study. Old wounds are healing and moving into the past. You could be spending time with a Virgo. Maybe feeling a little bit more financially secure. You also have a Libra around. You're actually headed towards the Ten Cups being full. You may get some good news this week that you've been waiting on. T-Vet, C&I, C&I. You have a wish that comes true around the situation. Listen to your intuition and a new journey begins. Communication either comes in or picks up and all of a sudden things could start to move forward quickly with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Listen to your intuition. Negativity moves into the past. You could be spending time together and things all of a sudden can move forward quickly. But you're in charge. You're the one that's making decisions around the situation. Mary finances. Mary finances. Perseverance pays off. Anxiety eases and moves into the past and you have money flowing to you and then the Empress is coming in with more money and also with love. Listen to your intuition and a wish comes true. Paying off a bill, a debt, or a loan can make you feel re re like... um relieved around finances old wounds heal and move into the past i think finances between now and the end of the summer are going to improve for you girl wake up i have two interviews this week will i be offered a job at pay that i'm happy with I think you will get a job that you're happy with the pay, yes. Palavi, love. New beginnings are on the horizon. If you're not with anyone right now, you could have a wish come true with a Scorpio. Life is moving forward and you're ready for it, but you may have choices and options. If you're not with anyone right now, it looks like it's new energy that's coming in, not old energy, because life is moving forward. You also have a Cancer coming in, a committed relationship on the horizon, and possibly a Sagittarius around. Explore your options could lead to success. Comment, how will Justin's professional interview go? It should go well. Feeling grounded and stable, making decisions that push things forward towards greener pastures. Long-term potential around the next job or job opportunity leads to success and more money comes in. Stepping into strength and self-confidence is making things happen. Pretty good. Pretty good. Aditya, Shahina doesn't talk like before. Does she talk to another boy? Is she talking to another boy? Another love interest. else around her right now I would give her a little bit of space and try to let her come to you a little bit if you don't hear from her for like a little while you can reach out but it looks like the situation just may need a little bit of space because things are kind of unbalanced
Brianna, love for me and Jay Sagittarius. Things look pretty good. Um, communication is coming in or communication is picking up. Lay down the law, set boundaries, express your wants and your needs, and you could get an offer that would be hard to turn down. New beginnings are on the horizon and your luck is changing for the better quickly. However, slow and steady wins the race and things move forward. Julie, what did Miss Baptiste think today about me? I called out today. Um, she may have thought that it had something to do with, or she may be wondering if something from yesterday, like an issue that you had yesterday is, um, affecting you today. And uh, she may be like, I don't want to say like she, I, I think that she was kind of expecting it. Like something didn't go right yesterday. So she maybe, maybe was expecting that you weren't going to come in today. I don't think she was surprised. There's a little negativity around the situation. I don't know if that's because of the, like, you not coming in today. Red, feeling like quitting KM, general for me. God, excuse me, what the hell? All right, the cards are indicating slow and steady wins the race, and I also would tell you not to quit under Mercury Retrograde if you want to quit. Wait until at least the middle of May until we get out of the shadow period before you make that decision. So slow and steady wins the race. You could be spending time with the Sagittarius. You could be spending time with the Leo. Life is coming into balance, and you do have some money coming in. Old wounds are healing and moving into the past. Take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. A Virgo enters, negativity moves into the past, and you may be planning travel. Weight of the world slips off your shoulders when you listen to your intuition. Comic, Justin's future with professional training is kind of hard, and he can get fired if he doesn't succeed. How will it go for him? It should go well. I mean, he's got the magician here, the ability to manifest new opportunities that bring in a ton of money looks good success comes in new beginnings are on the horizon negativity moves into the past and life moves forward i mean it looks like it goes well comment around when will justin's professional training start the number two is around it so if this is something that you could start within like like the next two months, within the next two months, I don't think two weeks. That seems like it's too quick. If it doesn't happen within the next two months, it could be in the month of February. Although there is a slight chance that things could start sometime later in the summer, like before February. But I'm thinking maybe within the next two months. Anonymous, how is Mar J Capricorn? Feel about shit. Hang on, hang on. Feel about us not being friends anymore after 12 plus years of friendship. We stopped being friends like a year ago. Overall, I think that she feels bad about it or she feels like disappointed. Disappointed. A little negative, kind of bad, and a little disappointed. Julie, did Baptiste make a big deal of it with others? I don't think so, no. Do 
Dakota, money for this month. Money for this month. Money looks good. You have money flowing to you. You could be paying off a bill of debt or a loan. Making decisions that push life forward. More money comes in and life comes into balance. Pretty good. Julie, did she think it was the conflict with her or me actually being ill? I think she thinks that you're sick. I think she thinks it's both. Like something may have happened that she feels was upsetting. She also may think that you're not feeling well. It just like maybe a bunch of things. And I don't think she said anything to anyone else. But I think it's something that she's, like, taking note of. Like, she's going to remember it. Not that nothing's going to happen because of it. Tanya, hello, beautiful, for the next 48. For the next 48. You may be feeling like life is coming into balance. You have money coming in. And then you've got um, the hard work that you put into work, school, or business, and teamwork around work, school, or business pays off and leads you to success. Weight of the world slips off your shoulders. Feeling ambitious, you'll be able to accomplish whatever you set your mind to. Could be spending time with the Sagittarius. Cause for celebration comes in around social activities. You also could have another fire sign around. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Old wounds heal and move into the past. Cecilia, who is coming towards me? Who is coming towards me? You've got an air sign coming in, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. New beginnings on the horizon with the magician, the ability to manifest new opportunities that bring in new social events and new people. A fire sign comes in as well, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Red, why do I feel like I want to drop everything? Like, drop everything and, like, like change, like, your identity and leave. I mean, I think we all feel like that. <laughs> like, just leave everything and, like, take off running down the street and never come back. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like, it's like stress. Right? Like, feeling a little bit out of balance. Maybe feeling in certain areas of your life are a little bit stuck, even though that energy should be shifting because you're no longer holding yourself back. And you do have the Empress coming in, bringing in love and money. But it looks like it's just, there could be a lot of stress and bullshit going on that's just, you know, you don't want to fucking deal with it anymore. I get it. Take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care, and you may be starting a new journey. Perseverance pays off. Listen to your intuition and finances should be improving. Mimi, is Libra interested in me? Is Libra interested in me? Yeah, a little bit. Yep. Fred, yes, just disappear into the alternate existence where she's different. Yes. Yes. I know. I totally understand. I always have, I have like six and a half empty bottles of seltzer. Like, can you finish one before you open up another one? No. Because who knows where I left it. Asmita, guidance for relationship between Anik and Asmita.
it looks like this situation ha has weakened. I don't know where these two people are in the relationship, but it looks like it's weak and it may be burdening or stressing out one of the people. Or these two people are not on the same page. So the guidance would be um, have the communication, figure out where it is the situation is going and where you want things to go. Because it looks like somebody here may be very distant. or And the two people are not on the same page or not after the same thing. And it's making the relationship weak. Tanya, A, the Aries intentions. A, the Aries intentions. Well, there's communication coming in, but he may be looking for things to move forward pretty quickly. But the sun brings in happiness and disappointment moves into the past. And then you've got a committed relationship here potential around him. So let's see what happens. Avery, I love it, but if you know what's going to happen. It's all going to turn brown. All right, well, if you like it, it's your Play-Doh. Well, but you know how the colors of Grandma's got all mixed and now they're all like funky colors? That's what's going to happen to that. I have to mix it up. All right, do whatever you like. Brenda, general for the rest of the day. Play-Doh comes in all these crazy colors. Now, when I was a kid, I think that we had red, yellow, and blue, and I think that was it. Maybe white. And yeah, I think we had red, white, blue, and yellow. I think that was it. I really sound old. My days, we didn't have cell phones. Brenda General for the rest of the day. If you're feeling stuck or stagnant, that energy should shift before the end of the day, and you should be feeling ambitious, be able to accomplish whatever you set your mind to. With the magician, you have the ability to manifest new opportunities, and you have um, listened to your intuition. Maybe spending time with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Something happens that makes you happy with the sun, and life comes into balance. Don't be afraid to walk away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. You may be paying off a bill of debt or a loan. Lily, how's the next few weeks going to go? I'm moving house and have so much going on. I feel totally out of routine. Okay, let's see. Well, I think that energy is going to continue until you finally settle into the new place. So you could be feeling a little upside down. But you know what? It all works out pretty well. And things do move forward. You have the world at your feet. You've got a wish that comes true. And feeling grounded and stable. So things are going to be up in the air, maybe a little stressful over the next couple of weeks, but you'll get everything done. You'll be happy and relieved once you get to where you're going. Lena, will M want a romantic relationship with me? There is potential of that on the horizon. Listen to your intuitions. Slow and steady. It's slow. So if you're willing to, like, slow and steady wins the race, things can move forward towards greener pastures around romance. Liz, for the next 24 hours... For the next 24 hours, old wounds heal and move into the past. Listen to your intuition. Life changes for the better for you quickly when you express your wants and needs around personal and professional relationships. You could be spending time with the fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Luck changes for the better for you quickly. Feeling ambitious to be able to accomplish whatever you set your mind to. You also could have a water sign around Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Mihak, will I be able to pay rent tomorrow or the day after? 
It's been three months. Husband is having issues at work and things are running are turning awful. Okay, let's see. will I be able to pay rent tomorrow? Cyrus, what are you ripping up? I think that you will be able to pay the rent within the next couple of days, yes. Cyrus? Oh. Okay, you can have that. And he said cheese. I don't know. That's going to have an adverse effect later. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, what are Marino's his next actions towards me? Oh, it should be communication comes in. Communication either comes in or communication picks up. Kachu, Sakin, and I. Okay, you got the two of cups here in reverse. So that could be a problem if this is a committed relationship. If this isn't a committed relationship, I would say it's not going to be a committed relationship on the horizon with the two of cups in reverse. Um, I don't know where you guys are in the relationship, but things look a little bit like, like it looks like there could be distance between the two of you. You may need to express your wants and needs around the situation, clear up things that may be out of balance. Because it doesn't look like much is changing quickly, and it looks like there's issues around this connection. Sarah wants the orange angel cards. Romance and connection. Angels of romance are swirling around your life at this time, urging, ushering in positive, uplifting, and heartfelt experiences to remind you that love is real. Allowing yourself to be romanced to receive an experience of true connection is important at this time. It is likely that your heart space is opening up any barriers or shields that have been in place and have been in place are now falling away. If you find yourself scared, uptight about romance, know that this is not only a sign that you would like to experience it, but that. It is something that your energy system really needs. Your angels are guiding you to be seeing yourself as loving and deserving of love. Know that you have so much goodness and light to offer others and to the world. You're being encouraged to know that the world wants to see you, know you, and understand your heart. All of this is only possible with your permission. Why not give in now? Honesty and communication. You're being given the opportunity to speak your truth. You have reached a point on your journey where you must be honest with yourself and all those around you. If you're holding in anything or that you feel that you need to share in order to feel free, know that your angel guide is encouraging you to act now. When you share feelings and speak truthfully, you draw the support and light of the universe into your heart. If you are in a challenging position or find it difficult to communicate what is in your heart, call in the angels and ask them to support you. They want you to know that when you speak with honesty, you attract experiences that are lovingly reflecting of who you really are. Pretty good. Love for me and Jay Sagittarius. 
slow and steady wins the uh, race around this connection, but communication looks good. Spending time together looks good. Negativity moves into the past and things move forward. Overall, things are looking like you've got an improvement here. Jamie and Brianna Aries. You should be spending time together. If you've recently had an argument or a disagreement, it will resolve itself and move into the past. Luck changes for the better for you quickly. Don't be afraid to express your wants and needs around the situation and listen to your intuition and things move forward towards greener pastures. Beautiful one, Aries Intentions. Well, we've got the Empress here. Life changing for you for the better quickly with the Empress love and money coming in around the situation. Maybe looking for things to move forward quickly towards greener pastures. Um, there is success around a committed relationship here between you and him. If that's what you're looking for, let's see what happens. All of a sudden, things can move forward. Now, yeah, general for the rest of April. General for the rest of April. You may be paying off a bill, a debt, or a loan. New beginnings are on the horizon, and you could be spending time with the Virgo. A wish comes true around work, school, or business. Take time, if you can, for rest, relaxation, and self-care. You may be planning travel. Gee, is the Cancer going to text me Tuesday? Is the Cancer going to text me Tuesday? sure. The chance looks like it's slim that they text you on Tuesday as of right now. Simran wants spirit messages. King of Fire. Motivational, idealistic, ambitious, and charismatic. Focus, focus, focus. Communicate with vision. Be a leader. Advice from somebody creative. Five of Earth. Fear surrounding money. The wisdom to accept help from others. Uncertain self-employment. And Ten of Fire. Too much work. Accept help from others. Life is a little out of balance. Stress-related health concerns. Again, love for M. Sagittarius for next week. Um, it looks good. It looks grounded and stable. What is that? Oh, you have Arthur? Oh, no, no, no. Don't destroy Arthur. No, 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 no. This is not yours. That's Avery's. Avery will be upset if you destroy Arthur. Let me have him. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, romance looks good. If this person's already in a relationship with somebody, the relationship should be functioning well. Overall, the luck is changing around this person for the better quickly. They could be spending time with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or possibly a Libra. Perseverance pays off. Here, Sai, you want to have this bottle? I can't let you hurt Arthur. Avery would be very upset. Here. All right, Cyrus, you want to sit down in here? You can't go on my thing. Cyrus. Cyrus. I want you to get stuck there. All right. Uh, Cyrus, I can't do what I gotta do with you on top of me like this. Could you move it? Oh, my calf. Don't, you're not gonna get Arthur. No, I can't let you have Arthur. 
Cyrus, you can't have Arthur. I Why she looks like the cat that ate the canary. Cyrus, go find something to do, will you please? Brenda, in love with Eric Ballas and I, we communicated yesterday, but I don't know if he will today and what will happen between both and relationship, because let's see. I think there is communication coming in, and then there could be a decision to spend time together that leads to growth, change, and transformation. I'm not convinced that this relationship is over. So, you know what? I would give it a little bit of space. Let him kind of come to you. And I think that things are going to move forward because, I, don't, I mean, it looks good here. Being guided by the divine committed relationship with kind, caring, sincere energy, things move forward. I mean, it, lo it looks good as of right now. So, let's see what happens. Tammy, why emergency doc gave me a hard time and medication which didn't work in the past? It may be, I don't know, like the way it reads, it's like um, procedure or it's um, like steps. So you might have to go back to them and say this didn't work and then they give you something else. Stupid. Stupid. But at protocol, maybe, if that's what you want to say. Like, you got to try this before you could try that. If it doesn't work, you go back. Yeah, it's like, yeah, really annoying. Anyway. Cyrus, bad boy. And Lourdes, will I be attending tomorrow by, will I be attended tomorrow by Miss T? Will I be attended tomorrow by Miss T?
I'm not convinced. The ch I'm only getting 33% chance yes at this time. Starfall, how does Leo W feel over that we won't see each other soon? I'm leaving the place that we spent time at. How does Leo W feel that we won't see each other more soon? They're okay. They're feeling kind of grounded and stable or they're not really thinking much about it at this point. They're okay. They're okay. Um, Shania, will DJ be able to visit me within the next two weeks or sooner? Uh, possibly in two weeks. I don't think it will be sooner. Kanchan got news from my sister that father was curating a list of prospective suitors for her marriage. Do you see it coming into fruition? I don't think she likes him deciding for her. I'm not convinced. I'm not convinced. So let's see what happens with that. Lady Sunshine. Upcoming week. Lady Sunshine for the upcoming week. pretty good. Negativity is moving into the past. You have choices and options coming in around social activity. Maybe thinking about going back to school, learning a new area of study. Feeling grounded and stable. Listen to your intuition and life is coming into balance. You've got um, the hard work that you put into work, school, or business comes back and pays off. Sheeta, why did I receive a random phone call from Brittany last night? She said her friend called me by accident, but I feel it was really her. We haven't spoken in a week. Yeah, you're right. It was her. Okay, did you answer the phone and speak to her? No, you didn't. You just saw the missed call. So what I think happened here was I think that I don't think it was an accident. I mean, it could have been an accident, but it's like contemplating reaching out, wanting to speak to you, may have been thinking about it and decided to call or maybe hit the button or whatever it is, but it wasn't a 100% an accident, no. Like, yeah, This and this was not the friend. This was definitely her. Um, she may be looking for things to change for the better or to reconnect and... You know, it's like the famous butt dial that's not really a butt dial. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that she's... And that was an excuse to, like, make communication start. Luna messages from Angel's Orange. Oh, I put the blue ones in the wrong spot. Come on, get it together. Signs, signs and reminders. Angels and loved ones that are in heaven are sending you signs of their presence now. You may be seeing the same number pattern or sequences, finding feathers, seeing some birds, at, the same birds at special times, or even feeling that you're being visited by a loved one in a dream or at some point throughout your day. 
these are messages of support. You're on the right path and you are being guided to know that you do not walk alone. In times of need, angels are beside you, blessing your heart with love. And your angels and loved ones are in heaven and they will never leave you. Trust that their love will never die. Intuition and downloads. Hearing high-pitched noises, seeing flickers of light, and, and having a sense that beings are visiting you in your sleep are all signs that you're receiving downloads from heaven. When you draw this card, your angels want you to know that the feelings that you are having and the intuitive urges that you have been feeling are divinely inspired. If you feel that you've been having psychic insights into a particular situation and have been wondering if you can trust them, this card is reassuring you that they are indeed correct. This is a time when you are able to see, hear, and feel beyond the human senses. Your intuition is becoming stronger, and you are in touch with the angels, guides, and other divine beings who are encouraging you in your growth and connection to the universe. Pretty good. Sylvia, Elle's intentions in reaching out. She's an old friend. Maybe looking to catch up. Um, intentions aren't bad. Positive. Like wants things to move forward. Catch up. Long time no see. That kind of a thing. It looks pleasant. Nerd. Outcome this week for me and the person. I can't answer for the person on your mind. I need to know either their name or their astrological sign. Uh, Tammy. I'll be luckier at ROH doctor finding the right meds for the PD problem. Yeah, I think you've only got a wish around that. Persons in Aries. Okay, outcome this week for me in Aries. Outcome for me in Aries. You might be feeling a little disappointed around the situation. I don't know what your relationship is with this person, but Emperor is in reverse, which means somebody may be trying to control or manipulate the situation or the other person. This may be why there's disappointment showing up. Listen to your intuition. Don't be afraid to express your wants and needs around the situation. And then things can move forward towards greener pastures. Not bad. It may be rough in the beginning of the week and it's better by the time we get to the end of the week. Tiffany, career reading. Will I get a new great job soon? You do have a new job coming in sometime early summer that looks like you're feeling better compensated, better respected around work, school, and business, and money is coming in. Looks pretty good. Cyrus, what are, what are you doing? Something that you shouldn't be doing? Show empathy. I had a job interview with Company M a few days back. I haven't 
had any update, can you let me know any future energy? Energy looks good. Growth, change, and transformation for the better with choices and options. Pretty good. I'll show them your plate, okay? You could show them your plate, oh, go ahead. Mega, love with R, what's coming? Um, you've got communication either coming in or picking up, but things look a little slow or maybe somebody's overthinking things. Be careful with that. Um, if you feel like things are a little slow, um, communication comes in and expressing your wants and needs around the situation can help things to move forward a little bit more quickly. Listen to your intuition. Rihanna, my dog isn't feeling well. Is she okay? I tried taking her to the vet this morning. She was stable then. I brought her home and she's doing the same thing again. I think she's okay though. Perseverance pays off. Luck changes for the better quickly and new beginnings are on the horizon. I think she's okay. Blossom, general. Perseverance pays off around work, school, or business. Somebody may make you an offer that would be hard to turn down. Feeling ambitious to be able to accomplish whatever you set your mind to. Listen to the, listen to your intuition, and life comes into balance. Disappointments heal and move into the past. LA, will I hear from Charles the Taurus again? Yeah, I think you will. Yes, I think you will. And what is delaying my recruitment process of min at ministry? Is it because of M? I don't think it's because of anything specific. I just think it's a slow process. And they could be a little bit behind in whatever the situation is. Lucky, will my raise next week be more than 2%? It might be, yeah. You got a good shot. Miss Billy, what did Kay mean when he said that we will figure it out? All right, I don't know what you guys were talking about, but it was like he didn't have an immediate answer. So that kind of just threw out, like, like he didn't know what else to say, didn't have a specific answer, doesn't know what to do. So just kind of put it out there. It's like, well, we'll figure it out. Like, because he doesn't have a true, like, grounded, stable, definite answer. So that's what he said. Butterfly A, me and Pisces man next week. Pi me and Pisces man next week. Okay, the light is on. Uh, it is. 
there's a new journey on the horizon or something out of the blue fun and exciting may happen. Listen to your intuition. Slow and steady wins the race. Communication picks up. Oh, that looks nice. Did you go to the bathroom? No. All right, go to the bathroom. What? I'm not coming with you. The light is on. I'm not. I'm going to finish doing this. JJ spirit messages. Queen of fire, confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and your creativity. Emperor, Archangel Michael, organization and logic, structure, discipline, and leadership. Magician, Archangel Raziel, you are ready. You have the resources and the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. Pretty good. Pop Queen, does Bryson have a crush on me? On you at this point um there may be an interest there but i don't think he's got like full-blown feelings as of right now con con yesterday i told dm something which made him stop talking to me i didn't reach back out to him do you see dm and i reconnecting or is it over i kind of miss him as of right now i think you got to give the situation space because it's looking stuck and stagnant and this person needs some distance. So I can't say that you'll never reconnect, but as of right now, I think he needs a little bit of space. Miss <laughs> Kay. I met a coworker today. How does he feel about me? Good. May find you'd be like rounded and stable, strong, confident, independent, hardworking, and a nice person. Looks good. Looks pretty good. Sharia, who is coming towards me. An earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Listen to your intuition. You also could have a cancer come in. Diamond, general for my son. General for my son. Uh, things look okay. It looks like there's an improvement overall on the horizon and life is moving forward around work, school, or business. Feeling grounded and stable. Money could be coming in. Finances could be improving. And he may have choices and options that come in around social activity. There's a Virgo that enters and a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Negativity is moving into the past. SS, what changes can I expect from the name correction immediately could you uh, rephrase that I'm not really sure what you're talking about like changes in what and what name is changing and how would changing the name relate to what kind of circumstances oh, no. Mommy, has lollipop. he has your lollipop how did he get your lollipop Cyrus, I don't want you to choke on that. Let me see. What do you got? Cyrus? Did you get it? He has it. Cyrus. You could choke on it. You could choke on that, Cyrus. Wait, is there any other candy anywhere?
All right, put that in the garbage. Let him lick the paper. I don't care as long as he doesn't have like candy. Emin, H promised to look at the situation. Will that eventually happen? Yes. Lucky, will I hear from Sagittarius more about the job before May? Yes. Sigma, love reading. Maybe working on a new creative project or creative hobby. You've got a new beginning on the horizon and earth sign enters Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Cause for celebration comes in. Perseverance pays off around work, school, or business, and you could be planning travel. Oh, that was supposed to be a love reading. Oh, hang on, hang on. Well, you have a committed relationship here. If you're already with this person, things look good. If you're not with anyone, you'll walk away from people, places, and things that no longer serve you to, prefer, to pursue something that's on more stable ground. It looks like you've got a Sagittarius that comes in if you're not with anyone. You're headed towards the Ten Cups being full. You could reconnect with somebody from your past. Listen to your intuition. You also could have a Cancer come in. But things should be moving forward on stable ground for you around love. Paula, my manager... Is my manager happy to work with me, with my work and me? I'm working hard and giving her regular updates, but I think people are interfering with that thing. I think she's happy to work with you, and I think that she's happy with your work. I don't really see much interference here. Things look pretty good. Char, what kind of, of a person am I to T Aries? Somebody who is well balanced, down to earth, smart and intelligent. Somebody who is kind hearted, caring, pleasant to be around, a loyal friend. Elizabeth Carlos's intentions and feelings. Maybe looking for things to move forward to the next level and for negativity to move into the past. Communication comes in, but he's feeling frustrated. There is an element of frustration around him for some reason, maybe feeling like his life is a little slow and stuck. It says, what changes can I expect from the name correction immediately according to numerology? I don't know anything about numerology, so I can't answer that question. I would talk to a numerologist. Um, I, I don't know anything about it. I can't give you details about something if I don't know what it, what it is. I would talk to somebody who focuses on numerology. Amen. Oh, and me, what to expect. Things look a little slow. I don't know where you guys are in the relationship, but it looks as if things could be a little bit out of balance with justice in reverse. 
or the two of you might not be on the same page. Although communication comes in and communication looks good. Your luck could change for the better quickly. Things look a little bit out of balance. Helene, what's the general energy around me? Pretty good. Strong, confident, down to earth, and stable. It looks pretty good. Mrs. H for this weekend. <laughs> Um, this weekend looks pretty good. Feeling ambitious to be able to accomplish whatever you set your mind to. Listen to your intuition and old wounds heal and move into the past. Take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. Old wounds heal and move into the past. Money's coming in. The hard work you put into business pays off. Not bad. Not bad. You could also be spending time with a Virgo. But the cards don't read numerology. So how am I supposed to tell you? Look, I can't. Numerology is separate. You, you know, it's like the, asking the cards. You know, what is the priest going to tell me? You see what I mean? Like I, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't trust it to be accurate. If you change something that has something to do with numerology, you should talk to somebody who does numerology, because I can't tell you how the name change is going to affect anything. I don't know that it does. You know what I mean? TD, general for the week. General for the week. For the week, you've got new beginnings on the horizon, old wounds heal and move into the past. A new beginning comes in. A wish could come true. Listen to your intuition and... You may not be looking back on the past. Life is moving forward towards greener pastures. Working on a new creative project or creative hobby is possible as well. Amy, general for the upcoming days. You can have choices and options that come in around social activity. Negativity moves into the past. Feeling ambitious and perseverant, you'll be able to accomplish whatever you set your mind to, especially around work, school, or business. Teamwork is favored. Making decisions that push life forward. Old wounds heal and move into the past. Yeah, I have a friend that works with the pendulum, and I don't really like it. I feel like my arm is not stable enough, or I feel like I could be influencing it. So I don't like that, but I have a friend who swears by it. SS, what's coming towards me next? Making decisions that push life forward towards greater pastures around work, school, or business can be bringing in more money. Luck changes for the better quickly, and you may be spending time with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Old wounds heal and move into the past, and so does anxiety. Life moves forward on stable ground. Is there anybody here I haven't answered for yet? Tanya, love. Perseverance around love pays off. Slow and steady wins the race. But you've got life changing for you when it changes for the better quickly and you'll feel relief. You've got good luck coming in and a fire sign Leo Sagittarius Aries that could be bringing with them success around love. You also could have water. Pisces Scorpio Cancer. All of a sudden water is showing up. 
Vicky, general for tomorrow. For tomorrow. Could be spending time with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. You may hear from somebody that you're hoping to hear from or get good news that you've been waiting on. Feeling ambitious, you'll be able to accomplish whatever you set your mind to. New beginnings are on the horizon. Success comes in around work, school, or business. And you're not looking back on the past. Life is moving forward. Looks pretty good. Uh, Zara, actions of Thomas the Libra towards me. Uh, communication comes in and then you could see one another. There may be spending time together or getting to getting together may come in after the communication. Oh no worries, SS. Tanya, my slow and steady fire signs are burning me and the water is going to go out. <laughs> it's going to make smoke. Simran for the next seven. Simran for the next seven. Listen to your intuition. Old wounds heal and move into the past. Disappointments heal and move into the past. Um, you've got something that makes you happy around work, school, or business where success comes in. Feeling ambitious to be able to accomplish whatever you set your mind to. And life moves forward. Money comes in. Finances may be improving. Mel, weak. You have money coming in. And then you can have more money coming in. Choices and options around social activity. A new journey may begin around a side business, side project, side hustle that brings with it cause for celebration. Could be spending time with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You'll hear from somebody that you're hoping to hear from or get good news that you've been waiting on. The hard work you put into work, school, or business comes back and pays off this week. Adonis, there's people who use the pendulum at the cemetery and say it has more accuracy. Maybe. Maybe. My friend swears by it, but for me, I feel like my arm is not steady enough. I feel like I'm influencing it. I don't know. I just don't feel like I do it right. Fred, what am I missing about my journey thus far? How far you've came. You've come a long way in a short period of time with growth, change, and transformation. A wish comes true around things moving forward quickly. If you've been feeling stuck or stagnant, that energy should shift. You also may not realize how much you've grown, changed, improved, whatever, over the last few years. And like how like strong, well-balanced, and how much respect you've earned. Maybe respect with coworkers, friends, family, whoever it is. You've got something coming in that's going to make you really happy. Make sure that you're listening to your intuition. That could be also be bringing in some more money. And what do you know? Don't forget to take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. It'll bring in relief. Yeah, go ahead, Zara. Oh, I did do, I did, I did spirit messages for a Simron. Okay, all right, my bad. Thanks, Mel. Mommy, look at my lips. <laughs> Adonis, me and the Aquarius, I want them to show more emotion, but I don't know, it's quiet. I overthink that maybe they lost interest. What does Taro say? They definitely did not lose interest. Because you've got good luck and strength around the situation, plus perseverance pays off. It's being guided by the divine. you got the empress here being guided by the divine. So things will unfold in divine timing, which could be fucking annoying. But um, they definitely have not lost interest. All of the emotions are still there, even if they're not saying it. Brooklyn General for next week. Next week looks okay. Take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. 
the hard work you put into work, school, or business comes back and pays off. You could be feeling balanced and stable around um, like work, school, or business, and better compensated, better respected. Take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. You may be planning travel. Money comes in. Finances improve. Pretty good. Atanas is also something called the human pendulum. Look it up on YouTube. I tried it. It's okay, but I don't know if I'm... That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't... Um, yeah. I don't, I don't... That's why I don't like using it. <laughs> Um, how come it, oh, I can go to the channel. Okay, okay, hang on. No, that's not it. Hang on, let me see if I can get it, and I'll put it in the... Oh, oh. <laughs> Adonis beat me to it. I thought I was being fast. Power, what do I need to know right now? What do I need to know right now? Old wounds heal and move into the past. Let it go, whatever it is. Could be spending time with a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, making decisions that push life forward. Teamwork is favored. Listen to your intuition. Old wounds heal when you take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. Listen to your intuition, and you may be spending time with the Libra. If there's no Libra around, you could have some good karma coming back to you. I think I did do TD a while ago. I didn't do Tisha Love. Tisha Love. When it comes to love, you have a new beginning on the horizon. If you listen to your intuition and walk away from and disconnect from people, places, and things that no longer serve you. Lay down the law, set boundaries, will serve you well, and old wounds heal and move into the past. You do have a committed relationship that comes in. If you're not in one right now, somebody may make you an offer that would be hard to turn down, and it could be a water sign, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. If you're already with someone, I would say your current relationship looks pretty good, but any old bullshit like from the past, let that go into the past, and your current relationship should move forward. Melissa, when will Chris contact me if I don't contact him? I don't see communication coming in on the horizon. It looks like things are out of balance between the two of you. If you want to speak to him, I would contact him. I wouldn't wait. Jack, what can Kimon expect in the next two days? Okay, in the next two days. A new job or business opportunity could come in. Listen to your intuition. You could be spending time with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, but Libra and Aquarius come up strongest. Old wounds heal and move into the past. Success comes in around work, school, or business. Feeling ambitious to be able to accomplish whatever you set your mind to. 
Ashwell will I see Aquarius within the next two months? I think you will. Anonymous, will me and my ex Gemini get back together? Okay. I think that you you have opportunity to get back together, but think about this before you go back to the situation. You would be going back to the same situation that previously ended. Not much has changes changed around the situation. So if you are happy and content with the way things were, going back to it would be positive. If you weren't happy with the way things were, and that's the way it looks because the Ace of Cups here is in reverse, going back to it, I mean, you might need to do it anyway for, like, for your own self. Like you might need to go back to know for sure, but you may go back and find that it's disappointing because nothing has changed and you just went back to the same relationship that you left or whatever happened. So just think about it before you re-enter it. Uh, star, will I get aid and attendance? little stuck and stagnant i don't think that you get it right now i don't know what it is but things look slow around it it's like nothing is moving forward quickly michaela kg's next move towards me there should be communication that comes in things look a little bit out of balance with the six of pentacles in reverse but there should be communication that comes in Sam, outcome between Mel and I in love. Something may get revealed around the situation that needs to be dealt with. I don't know where you guys are in this relationship. I don't see a whole lot of love, commitment, or romance as of right now. And the fool is in reverse, which means there may be an issue. It depends where you guys are in this relationship. But this is all like upside down not much here is happening around love and you may be feeling a little anxious or nervous or may or maybe he is somebody may be feeling anxious or nervous around the situation uh, missy when things work out between jonas and i he always asks me out Well, there's opportunity to pursue the situation and it move, moving forward towards greener pastures. I don't know exactly what you mean by work out. Will it last forever? No, I wouldn't say yet that anybody would last forever. But it does look like there is opportunity for more to come with a new beginning on the horizon. Choices and options that could lead to success. Anxiety moves into the past and you may be ready for things to move forward. Let's see what happens. Okay. That's it. I'm going to wrap it up, and I'll see you guys later on tonight. Thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you guys later. Maybe, um, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's a, there's a couple of people. Mr. V came in. Cyrus, I'm not done. He knows when I'm done. I'm not done. I made a mistake. I got to answer for one more, one or two more people. Oh, good boy, Psy guy. Okay, sit down right here, okay? Cyrus. Oh my goodness. All right, Cyrus, go out there. Go see Avery. Go see Avery. Love reading for Bonnie, Glenn, and I for this summer. Well, you have the magician here, which would be the ability to manifest new opportunities 
around love and something could happen that makes you happy. But this situation looks as if it's stuck or there's distance between the two of you. So I don't know where you guys are in the relationship right now. Come this summer, you could see an improvement. Let's put it that way. It depends where you guys are right now. If you're currently in a relationship with this person, I would say by the summer, things could be improving. If you're not in a relationship with this person, things look slower, like there's distance between the two of you. Asia, general. Old wounds heal and move into the past and life moves forward towards greener pastures. You've got cause for celebration coming in around work, school, or business, feeling better compensated, better respected. Could be paying off a bill of debt or a loan and perseverance pays off. Mystery general for tomorrow. Life changes for you for the better quickly. A wish comes true. You have cause for celebration coming in around work, school, or business. Take time for rest, relaxation, and self-care. You could get good news that comes in around work, school, or business, and you could be spending time with an earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You may be focusing on a side business, side project, side hustle that could be bringing in extra money. There may be a Capricorn around. And negativity is moving into the past. Pretty good. Pretty good. Alrighty, I will sign off. I'll see you guys tonight. Thank you, thank you. Have a great day.